Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Robin. It has been a while. Oh gosh, I think it's been about a month since I've posted a video. I have been super, super busy, not only with work, um, but I prepared for uh, my first craft fair. I had it last Saturday. So I'm finally having time to sit down and make a video and come to you and kind of do my craft fair video. I'm going to um, show you some the things that I made, tell you how I did with those items, tell you what I may do different, um, and then proceed from there. Um, Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen most of this stuff. But if not, please do. I'll link my Instagram uh, account below. And I would love for you to go over and follow me <clears throat> so you can keep up with what I'm doing. And if I'm not on here, you'll kind of know from Instagram, you know, if I'm posting pictures and saying I'm doing a craft fair or whatever, you will know. So let me go ahead and get started. Um... I did about 10 items that I sold. Um, a couple of them I won't show you for various reasons. One of them is just um, bagged up cards. Um, I put them in, you know, like two pack cards um, of those sets that you get from like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff like that. Those did not sell. Not one pack of them. People flipped through them. I have two cards for a dollar. Uh, they were note cards. Um, it could have been the presentation as well. I don't know. But anyway, it didn't sell. So, um, so there's that. And then I did a perpetual calendar that I put out for sale. Um, I've just kind of decided it was, um, I put $12 on it. And I can show it to you. I will in just a little bit. Or I will insert a picture here. of it and um but i don't know i think i've kind of come to the conclusion because it's made out of paper um even though it looks really nice um that they're just not gonna sell people really didn't even look at it that i was aware of i may put one back out on my table at my next craft fair just to see but anyway um, I did post that on my Instagram. So anyway, let me get started. I did these little um, photo holders. And you just stick, um, this is not a photo, but it can give you an example. You can just stick a photo in there, like that. And it sits up on your desk. And they're real cute. Um, I did sell quite a few of those, so I would say those are definitely a good seller. I still have some because I made quite a few of them. Um, but I, um, you know, I think I will uh, sell those at my next craft fair. So, um, I made this one. As you can see, I used the Michaels um, Little Mermaid Cupcake Sticker. If y'all remember those from back, um a month or so well no gosh it's been back in the summer probably three months ago that we were buying those three or four months so anyway there's that one these are not all that i made but i just wanted to kind of give you an example that one has come off i'm gonna have to re-glue it hot glue it on <clears throat> but there's another one here is one and this has the globe and I think that sticker came from Michael's as well. But people really like these. They picked them up. Some people act like they've never seen them before. And I know they've been out for a while. But, you know, we don't always see everything, right? So, uh, I had a lot of compliments on those. And then next, I sold these chip bags. And these were a great seller. I wish I'd have made more because I think I would have sold them. Um... I made six and sold five. And if you guys don't know what this is, it's just, like it says, a chip bag. You take a crimper and crimp your top and your bottom to make it look like a chip bag. You, you know, make a hole with some acetate. And in here, I put um, gum, Kleenex, chapstick, and a nail file. And there might have been something else. I can't remember. 
That's terrible. But I, there's at least those four things in there. And on the bag here, I put, you are all that and a bag of chips too. And then on the back, I put a two in front. And <clears throat> people really like these. So I'm definitely going to do these. These are nice teacher gifts. And especially at um, Christmas, I think they'll go really good. So teachers, co-workers, uh, just a friend, just a just because gift. I mean, these are really neat. Bona over at Live Love Scrap done a tutorial on this. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will link her channel below for you. Okay, next I did these recipe books. I did four. I sold one. These were, uh, I did have these priced at $10. I do feel like $10 is a fair price. I put quite a bit of time in it. Um, and I followed Amber over at Lyric Lover 810. I followed her tutorial on this. And I'll just kind of give you a quick flip through. It's kind of repetitive, so I'll just kind of give you the first few pages. But it's more like a recipe keeper, one that you would, you know, and you can put your photos, um, a photo of your dish or a photo of your family eating it or whatever there. Um, but it just pretty much repeats. And then I'll leave a space for um, several pictures. I'm sorry, guys. I am off thumbs this morning. Several pictures. And then I'll start back over with the recipe cards. So, um, the girl that did buy one, she had a hard time deciding which one she wanted. She said it was neat. And she, she was a younger person. And she said all of her recipes are just in a notebook. And so she wanted to put them in some kind of nice order. So I would say these would be nice for like a newlywed couple or a bridal shower. Um, you know, anybody really. But for... Young people starting out, you know, they don't usually have a plan for the recipes. So, this is, um, I think, a good idea. Next, I have um, this double pad folio. Um, I think Amber, Amber Lyric Lover, again, 810, did a tutorial. I can link her uh, tutorial below. And um, I made this with some really st uh, sturdy card sock, a pen from the Dollar Tree, and then two of these notepads from the Dollar Tree. And I think I had $3 on these, and I sold um, a few of them. I do have quite a few left, so I will put them in my next craft fair. Um, here's some more that I made. I packaged these up in plastic. So it's always nice to package your items, but it's always good. I had one of everything that was packaged up out on the table so people could see what it was like. So that's an example of those. And then I did these little chapstick things. I think I saw one or two of them. Um, I'm not pleased with it. I, I think these would go. I just don't think my packaging was right. I did follow Amber's tutorial, but I don't know. I never felt that good. Now, I didn't decorate the front. Uh, her sister had actually made them, and she had put some tags on the front, and it was at Christmas, and more than likely, people are going to pick things up like this at Christmas. Um, so, I'm going to redo mine. Um, I bought a die, so I'm going to use my die to redo these and make little Christmas ornaments. I think they'll sell and they'll be for Christmas and um, it'll just be something easy for somebody to pick up to give, you know, um, a mom pick them up for her daughter's friends or something like that. So this is a cute idea, um, but I want to do, you know, I've been wanting the die for it. So I've got the ornament die and then I bought the uh, MFT chapstick or it's actually called a frame die and sh a shaker frame die or something like that but chapstick fits in it as well as other things i also bought or not bought i also made these trinket clips again following amber's tutorial over at lyric lover 810 um and these are real cute and i did sell quite a few of these i had the fall leaves 
And then I had these. And they're just little, uh, some people mistake them for hair bows. I said, no, they're not hair bows. They're not hair clips. They're actually little clothes pins. And um, so these are real cute. I will put these back out, um, I believe, um, at my next craft fair, which I think is going to be the mid part of November. I'm still in the process of getting signed up, but I'll know more about that next week. I made these pencil pouches. Now, Amber does a tutorial where she um, puts a little notepad behind them and then adds this little pack and it's really cute. I didn't have the pads and didn't have time to order them. So I just did the pencils and I did sell quite a few of these. So again, these I probably will do some Christmas ones. I might save these for a show that I'm gonna do in the spring. And the last thing I have to share with you is this note card folio, again, a tutorial by Amber. Um, and what it does, it holds two note, two note cards on each side. And it's just in a nice little packet. You could also include a pen with this. I didn't, but I could. Um, and these make like real nice little teacher gifts, office worker gifts, friend gifts. So I was just going to show you a few. I made them all out of the Petals and Bloom collection. And then I added these um, different um, journal cards from a collection that I had. And I can't remember right now what that collection is. Um, Anyway, I added those to that great. And I did sell four of these. So I was placed. It wasn't a real big craft fair. There was more direct sales than um, actually crafts at this thing. But, or at this fair. But it was actually a fundraiser for a couple who is going to have to have IVF to try to conceive to have a baby. Um, so I was all for doing it. And, you know, making a little bit of money was just icing on the cake. So... Anyway, I, I felt good about it being my first craft fair. Of course, I want to do better at my, you know, ones after this. And I learned a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change up my chapsticks and going to, I might narrow down my product selection and just focus on um, some other things. So I'm working on a um, mason jar lantern that will light up with um, some little fairy lights and it's like mercury glass. So I'm working on those and I'm planning to doll them up with some ribbon and put a hanger on them and uh, try to sell those at my Christmas craft fair as well. So I'm not going to have just paper products. I'm going to be doing, you know, a few other projects uh, along with my paper products. But anyway, guys, I wanted to get on here and see how y'all were doing. Tell you hello. Tell you I have not, definitely have not forgotten about you. Um, I do, you know, answer comments when I get them and stuff. And But I have been super busy. I'm hoping to be on here more. If I could get my live to work. I've had a hard time because I have a buzzing sound in it. So I'm going to try to work on that a little bit this weekend and see if I can figure out what's causing the buzzing sound so I can do more lives because I could pop on any time doing these videos and editing and uploading and everything is, and I just have to edit, you know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I think I have to go through and look at it. Whereas with live, you just do it and you're done. So if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Um, but anyway, that's all I have right now. Um, I have got to choose an August um, random happy mail that I'm going to send out. Uh, if you remember from my challenge, I still have not mailed out my July. Anna, I'm so sorry. It's laying right here on my desk. Uh, but Anna Colby was my random pick for uh, July. So I have her item laying here. I need to do a random pick for August and get that out. So I will try, ladies, to get those out first thing this next week. Um, the mail will not run on Monday, so it definitely won't go out Monday. Um, and I guess that's it for now. Just be looking for um, other videos I'm going to try to be doing. And um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment below and leave those. 
and I will leave links below. Hopefully, I'll remember all the links I promised to leave you. Um, and I believe that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. I love you guys, and thank you, thank you so much for subscribing and being a follower of my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye.